In this program, we teach students how to design products that can be manufactured. They take courses in design, but they also have to learn how to manufacture those products that they are designing, because if you don't understand manufacturing, you can design things that can actually be made. Having a degree in product design engineering technology could help you if you end up in manufacturing because now you have the experience of practicing many different manufacturing processes here when you're in school and because then you know what the design practices are, the manufacturing people can support the design people in giving guidelines about what could they change in their design to make manufacturing better. All of the classes have a project in them uh, one way or another. The senior thermofluids lab course is all hands-on, so they're actually doing the experiments in person um, and taking data and then analyzing it and writing reports and that sort of thing. We teach our students not only the sort of theory behind the design, but then also how do we actually build this, what processes are necessary, um, and how to actually, and not just do it, but how to plan for the manufacturing. So, you know, what are the stages for planning, for pricing out, uh, and so that you're ready when you graduate to work at any one of the companies around here that's involved in manufacturing. Many of our classes are very hands-on. We have many laboratories like this one, so it gives them much better idea than just looking at those things in a book. Virtual reality became so popular in uh, virtual prototyping of the planning process of manufacturing. Uh, specifically in manufacturing, it, uh, rigging in new plant layouts, as well as planning new uh, production processes. We use the virtual reality technology also for the students uh, to learn how to uh, prototype their designs and troubleshoot their designs before they spend money on building physical prototypes. The VR lab is a house for also simulating uh, production planning and the manufacturing process simulation. And this is an example now shown here where uh, a typical manufacturing cell is shown uh, that you can see in a typical automotive application. Companies around here like Ford and GM um, look for that ABET accreditation in their mechanical engineering graduates. Um, and so we now have that for our students and it speaks to the quality of the program and that we essentially you know, check all the boxes um, from the perspective of content and making sure that the students are engaged and that they're achieving all of their objectives that they need to to be successful in their career. The ABIT accreditation is the most uh, prestigious accreditation for an engineering program in the world. And it uh, guarantees that the program continues to improve itself. Uh, it also reflects the fact that the curriculum meets the national framework of engineering. And that will also uh, give uh, Eastern Michigan University students opportunity to work with cutting edge technology that can benefit them as they graduate and join the workplace. Outside of their normal classes, students have a lot of different activities and things they could enjoy and get involved with. I'm actually the advisor here at Eastern Michigan University for the Baja Off-Road Racing Club. Um, and you can see behind me, that's the car that we're looking at. And so um, that's actually an, an off-road racing club where they design and build the entire vehicle from scratch. And the team, the, the student team is made of all undergraduate students um, that work on various aspects of, of the project. Michigan is one of the highest uh, employers of mechanical engineers in the United States and globally. Um, and so they're always being hired. The degree is very broad. You can work in any number of industries. We have students working in the automotive industry, um, but you can also work in the biomedical industry. You can go on to different graduate schools, um, like to be a doctor or a lawyer, if you'd like. Always, always there are more mechanical engineering job openings than actual mechanical engineers. Um, and so we tell our students, if you work really hard and you keep your eyes open for opportunities, that you'll get a job when you graduate.